Andy Thomas, CEO with Cohort. Uh, welcome to Sydney. Uh, you're based in Reading, the UK, but welcome to Indo-Pacific uh, 2025. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Andy, now it's a fascinating uh, consortium of companies, uh, Cohort. Maybe introduce us to sort of the overview of what you do, but it's a number of subsidiary companies, but mainly in defence and maritime security, yeah? Yeah, that's right. So we're a UK listed group uh, with seven agile, innovative defence technology businesses, all sort of mid-sized, um, all very agile, being able to respond very quickly to customer demands, um, and all involved in innovative technology to deal with the defence problems, and in particular the maritime issues that our customers are dealing with at the moment. Well look, you definitely want to look at, there's at least seven subsidiaries here, all everything from electro-optics uh, through to uh, subsea uh, maritime uh, domains as well, but also SATCOM. That leads us to what you might be doing in Brisbane uh, with EM Solutions. Yeah, that's right. So EM Solutions is the most recent business to join our group. That happened back in January. Um, they provide the satellite communications terminals for the Australian Navy through the C1442 program. Um, and they've also exported their systems uh, to Europe, so to the Netherlands, Belgium, Portugal, Norway. Um, and to Japan as well, so a, a very strong exporter. And that's because they've got some unique technology uh, in terms of diversity of frequency bands that they can use and in terms of their ability to stay locked on to a satellite as a ship moves in heavy seas. And that puts them head and shoulders uh, above the competitors and that's why they've been so successful internationally. And anything unique there? So this has all been manufactured? Is it completely manufactured in Brisbane and exported? What's the supply chain for you? Yeah, that's right. Supply chain um, is, is a mixture. Um, significantly local, uh, but manufacture takes place uh, in Brisbane and Queensland uh, and export around the world. We have um, uh, some support partners, uh, so there's a, a support organisation in the Netherlands, uh, and also um, uh, EM Solutions works with the other companies in the cohort group. Uh, to support their products in nice. uh, countries like Portugal where we have a business too. And we've got the dish in the background here yep. and it looks like it uh, gets packed away as well quite nicely so uh, again uh, it's a full modulised kit right? Um, well this is this is a Cobra dish, um, it's approximately a one metre dish um, used very widely including by the Australian Navy but by several other navies as well and it incorporates that technology which enables it to stay locked onto the satellite even as the ship moves in heavy seas uh, and also that uh, frequency diversity um, and that means uh, that I mean satellite communications are becoming ever more vital uh, as particularly in the Indo-Pacific because the distances involved are so vast across the Pacific and the Indian Ocean um, so satellite communications are vital uh, but satellites are under attack as never before and so that frequency diversity and that ability to stay locked onto the satellite means that you can ensure reliable communications even in adverse circumstances where you've got people working against you. The other one we uh, talked about uh, and introduced us to your subsea uh, monitoring and particularly sort of protection for subsea cables and subsea infrastructure. Yeah, um, uh, underwater sensing is a particular capability of two of the businesses in our group. Um, our business Elac Zonar, which is based in Kiel in northern Germany, um, is actually one of a very few companies in Europe capable of providing fully digital submarine sonar suites. But one of their products called Enlitor has been designed specifically to detect threats and respond uh, and, and allow a response to threats to undersea infrastructure like um, undersea internet cables or undersea pipelines or undersea power cables um, and events uh, in, in Europe have shown just how vulnerable and just how important uh, that infrastructure is. And how, uh, this I think you mentioned this was your third uh, Indopac uh, pre-interview, how are you finding it? We're only here on uh, morning day one uh, but yeah how are you finding it and uh, how do you find coming to Sydney? Uh, it's always a pleasure to come to Sydney. Um, uh, we've been uh, having a series of meetings in, uh, in Brisbane actually over the last few days so a lot of my colleagues are here with me which is great. Um, yeah and it's a super busy exhibition, lots of people coming through, great to be here. Well I suppose one more, it's one of those things, uh, the AUKUS uh, conversations, there's been a lot of discussion here in Australia, particularly uh, since the US has sort of bettered down, everyone's done their reviews now. Yep. Uh, yeah, and you're part of that, that sort of consortium uh, in a bigger stream. Uh, from the UK's perspective, uh, AUKUS is uh, full steam ahead for you and, and what type of opportunities does it create for you and your Australian partners? Yeah, well AUKUS is very important, uh, equally important for the UK as it is for, uh, for Australia. Um, over many years we've provided the external communication systems for uh, the UK submarines. Um, I'm very optimistic uh, that we'll be able to do the same for AUKUS. Wonderful.
Andy Thomas, uh, the CEO with Cohort. Thank you very much. As I said, uh, you are one to watch uh, and so are your subsidiaries and we'll have the links in the show notes. Thanks for joining us on Australia in Space TV. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much, Chris.